Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, welcome to the closing ceremony of HashCode 2022. My name is Przemek. I'm a software engineer at Google Friends, and I am a volunteer member of the HashCode team. I have the pleasure of being involved with the competition since the first edition back in 2014. It's hard to believe, but it is already the ninth edition of HashCode that finishes today. Whether we are participating for the first time or you've been part of the competition for many times before, thank you for joining and uh, please know that we are very happy to have you here. I hope that you all had a merry time solving today's competition problem. Back in our virtual control room, we have been following very closely the scoreboard throughout the round. The results we can see on our website are frozen. They represent the state of the competition one hour before the end. So the actual results will be revealed in this ceremony, lucky us. Before the results, we are going to debrief how the round went and share a few pieces of trivia. Very importantly, after the results, we will open the floor for a short discussion in which we would be happy to hear any comments or questions you have regarding Hashcode. The competition problem today was inspired by Google Santa Tracker. And I know we are a long way from the December holiday season this year, but all grant projects require advanced planning, and this is why we needed your help today. The task was to help Santa and his magic reindeer plan the most effective way of delivering gifts to kids around the world. Your programs were in control of how Santa should maneuver his sleigh, when to pick up and when to deliver each gift, and crucially, when to feed carrots to the reindeer so that they can accelerate. So who was most effective in helping Santa out? We are going to find out. Let me pass over to David and Max, who will tell us more about how the round went. Thanks, Dramic. Hi, I'm Max. I'm a software engineer here in Paris. I work on YouTube, and I'm also part of the Hesco team. Hi, everyone. I'm David, manager in the technology services team at YouTube in Paris. I've been part of Hashcode since its inception in 2014. I'm really happy to be with you today. And thank you so much for joining for this uh, announcement. But first of all, congratulations. Congratulations for making it to the finals. This is already a huge accomplishment, to be honest. So there were 39 teams, but in the qualification round, we had over 10,000. And similarly, there's 148 finalists. You were all competing here. And this is about the top 0.1% in comparison to the qualification round. So no matter where you rank in the end, this is already super strong work. Congratulations to you. Among uh, you, uh, there's a couple of teams which we have seen before. Uh, so 12 teams returned, but uh, all the other um, 27, they, they were new. And this is very great to see because it's a pleasure um, to have all of uh, you with us. Uh, three of these teams were even here for the fifth time. David. What can you say about uh, the competition itself? Yes, now going to the first submissions every time, uh, we know that you are quicker and quicker to take a look at the problem statement and submit. And uh, this time for the finals, it was Quiche Lorian, uh, a French team uh, who submitted first after 77 uh, seconds for the, the example uh, data sets, which scored uh, 16 points. So really congrats to Kish Lorian, who did it really fast. Uh, but then, of course, we take a look at the other submissions, and especially one which is important is the first, what we call non-trivial submissions, meaning something where you actually uh, wrote code and tried to, to, to solve it a little bit harder. And it was done after 48 minutes by the team Often Heights. So congrats to Often Heights for submitting the first non-trivial submission. And then we also run a script that we like, uh, which is called error-free programming, meaning which teams here made the less mistakes while submitting. And this year we have two teams who made zero mistake while, while submitting, so always submitting valid solutions. So congrats to Rethinkers and Team USA for not making any error here. Here you can have a look at the frozen scoreboard. It's the one that's available online. Uh, it was frozen like one hour and a half ago, something like this. 
we'll now check if it moved a lot, if the scores evolved or not. Let's go to the top 10 teams. Yeah, so we will start revealing now um, the, the uh, scores after the unfrozen scoreboard. So it's getting really exciting here. And what we will start with are the top scores per data set. Um, every year we try to create very different data sets. Uh, so we try to make sure that not um, the same strategies was all of them. But let's get started. A, an example. Actually, we were super surprised. Pure MF scored 18 points. Everybody else has just 16. Even the example solution has just 16. So congratulations to this team for optimizing the example. Um, quite a nice achievement. Um, B, better hurry. Um, there's star code with about uh, 270,000 points. C, carousel. It's uh, the uh, multi-ocular O with 1.7 million points. And D, Decorated house again, star code, but uh, with 900,000 points. And E, excellent weather, the Oculus O with um, 1.9 uh, 1. Uh, million points. And finally, festive flower, the Marathoners with 1.7 million points. Uh, they worked really hard on the score, but they did not really uh, submit a solution on a lot of other um, data sets. Probably you can guess some of the rankings now, but it's uh, super close. It's not really clear who's winner here in the end. With this, we move to the top 10 teams. We start at position number 10. David, you start. Thanks, Max. So yeah, position number 10, congratulations to Drop the Base. I really like this team name with uh, two point, nearly 2.8 million points. Congratulations to them for being in the top 10. Position number nine, we have team 1222 uh, with uh, 3.2 million points. Congrats. Congrats to all of you. Really congrats. And then on position number eight, we have Omogen Heap uh, with uh, about 3 million points. Uh, what's noteworthy here is that they only submitted three of the six data sets. On position number seven, we have uh, Make Love Not War with uh, 3.4 million points. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, they were, they were first on the online qualification round and they scored uh, seven. Congratulations to them. Uh, position number six, we have the team QZ2 with 3.5 million points. Congrats to them. Position number five, we have the Rethinkers. So in addition to be number five, they also did not make any mistake uh, while submitting. So that's great. And finally, at, uh, just before the podium, position number four, we have Pass Glory with 4 million points. Congratulations, Pass Glory. Now it's getting really exciting. We're moving to the podium, position number three. On position number three, there is Immuniso um, with four million points. Um, congratulations. Position number two now, we have the multi-ocular O. Yeah, this, this, this uh, sign, actually, it's an exotic glyph uh, found in a really old Cyrillic script and used in the word many eyed and it's pronounced uh, multi-ocular O. So congratulations, multi-ocular O, uh, for scoring 4.9 million points. Congrats. Ooh. And finally, and Max. The winners of this year's uh, Hashcode World Finals uh, are Starcode, actually with a large gap, so 400,000 points more, more or less, 5.39 million, a very well deserved, uh, huge congratulations to the winners, Starcode, but actually, <laughs> congrats, congrats. Uh, congratulations to all of you, not just the winners. Um, as I said in the beginning, all of you are among the top 0.1 among the qualification rounds. So it's really strong work just to hear. David. And yeah, if you are not satisfied by your score, if you want to submit more data sets, or simply if you are watching us on YouTube after the, the World Finals, and you want to take a look at what our finalists tackled uh, today, then you can go to this uh, website and because we have opened the, the challenge for practice mode, meaning that anyone now with, a, with an account can try it. 
So please take a look. Uh, and yeah, see you, see you really soon. Thank you so much for being part uh, of the Hashcode community over the past year. We really hope to see you in person uh, next year. Uh, have a good uh, evening. Bye. Please stay a bit on the call for the Q&A um, and see you there uh, with us. Uh, thank you and goodbye.